War of the Ring 2nd Edition is one of the greatest board games I've ever played. However, directly out of the box, it's virtually unplayable since there are eight unique factions, each with two to three different character models, all represented by only two colors of plastic. I mean, even the guys over at Shut Up and Sit Down are like, Right, what's all this then? So when I purchased my copy, I slapped some paint on the bases to match the faction color on the board and called it a day. Until I saw this video. From Goober Town Hobbies, his name is Brent, and he made me believe in myself. So with zero miniature painting experience, I decided I was going to paint all 205 miniatures for my copy of War of the Ring, second edition. So firstly, due to the previously painted bases and the factory residue that helps these tiny tots pop out of their molds, they all got a bath in some simple green. After some vigorous brushing and less vigorous drying, I was ready to prime. I went with gray because I heard that due to how much minier these minis are, a xenothal priming would have been more effort than it's worth. I don't have any footage of myself actually painting, so we are just going to review the results in the order that I painted them, and then make a tier list. Alright, first up we have the orcs. Um, if I had to do it over again, I would choose different colors. For the flesh and the loincloth, I think the green and brown I chose kind of get muddled. However, once I started dry brushing some metallic silver on the armor, I got very excited about seeing all of these minis painted when I play the game. Next, we have our cave troll. Uh, really happy with the cave troll. I chose blue and that pinkish color for the belly. Um, because I was directly inspired by the movie for my color palette. And then the other choices were kind of obvious. You know, you got the leather with the metallic uh, accents, and I think they really helped the, the whole mini pop. Okay, uh, after I got all excited about my dry brushing um, and knowing that the Urukai are pretty much just black on white, um, that's what I did. I saw some other miniatures with the loincloth painted a different color. Um, I just kind of like the Urukai black and white, so that's what I went with. Um, my least favorite thing about these are just the bases. I don't like that dark brown on the base as much. Now we have the Isengard Elites. Um, pretty happy with these. The dry brushing on the chest armor is cool. The cape, uh, I like the color palette, um, but then the cape and the warg, once, once they got a black wash, um, and those shadows really got brought out. Uh, I got really excited about seeing this one fully painted. Okay, we have the men from the east regular unit. Um, dry brushing again, really king here, but this time it's gold metallic instead of silver. Um, these are my sloppiest set of paints, I'd say. Um, I should have done a whole black undercoat. I was trying some different techniques to try and save some time. They ended up costing me some time, but ultimately still really happy with these. Now we have the Oliphants. Shout out to Sam Wise. Um, also very happy with these. Color palette wise, I love how they match the regular units. Um, biggest complaint here is I missed some primer um, underneath, around the mouth. Um, and there's an effect with the red on the cloth. I should have done red with a black wash instead of a red brush after black. And finally, we have the Nazgul. Um, yeah, painting minis that are primarily black is really hard. Um, that's what I learned. Still really happy with these. I think I was able to pull out some highlights, um, you know, of the mini still. Uh, I just have seen enough videos um, and other black miniatures painted well that I know that these could be way better. All right, so let's tier, the, tier list these bad boys. Uh, yeah, we're going to put orcs in C tier. Um, first ones ever, but we still still liked them. Cave Trolls, S tier. I mean, they remind me of the movies. They're clean. Love it. Isengard, thematic. I still like it. Uh, the base is kind of dooky. Isengard Elites, we'll put an A tier. Super detailed. The wash is king. Uh, Men from the East, again, color palette and, and gold dry brush, love it. Oliphants beat them, they're just cooler. I mean, there's nothing much more to say other than that. And then Nazgul, yeah, if I was better at painting black, um, these would have been higher. 
So there it is. I painted all the shadow pieces. Um, if you want to see all the free peoples get painted, let me know. And uh, I'm saving all the minions and characters of the Fellowship for last. Shout out to Goobertown and shut up and sit down. And thanks for watching. <laughs>